Today, Scarlett and I are going to review the Outlet Sock um, Generation 3. That's the one that we have. I know this is a big purchase. It's expensive in my eyes, and so I want to make sure that if you're sitting at home wondering if you should get it or not, you feel totally comfortable making a decision about whether to purchase the Outlet Sock. Just to preface this, I got the sock. I did not get the monitor. I heard that the monitor wasn't worth it, so I just got the sock. So let's talk about it. The outlet sock comes with different size socks, so you can put a newborn sock on for either the right or left foot, or you can put a bigger size on for the right or left foot. I have heard the recommendation is that you want to occasionally switch the foot that it's on. Um, so that's what we've done. I have not had any issues with it falling off ever. I have always paid attention to how it is fitting her and making sure it's not too tight or too loose because that can affect the readings and it can also come off. Um, I have had issues with it saying that it, it can't get the baby's readings right now and sometimes they say it's because they're wiggling or because it maybe not like maybe it's not on there correctly um, so maybe I've had to readjust it but it has never fallen off and it's pretty easy to put on your baby. When you purchase it, it will come with a sensor, it will come with socks, and it will come with the charging dock, which also has a micro USB charger. So I keep the charging dock in our room. That's where she sleeps right now, but I'll probably keep it there even when she transitions to her crib. Um, I personally want to be alerted from the char charging dock when something's wrong. It will also alert you on your phone, but I just feel comfortable relying on the charging dock to alert me or my phone. I have never had a problem with it receiving the, the readings from Letty while she was near the charging dock, but let's say if I went out to the living room if I had her out there, we were just playing and I forgot to take the outlet sock off when she woke up, then it might go off and play its little tune and um, alert me that it can't find the baby's readings. Thankfully, that alert is very nice. It's just, I forget what song it is, but it's just a little chime. It's annoying, but it's not the red alert, which is like, hey, there's something wrong with your baby. It's just kind of like, hey, I can't read what your baby's readings are. The charging dock will light up and the colors of the, the lights actually signal to you different things. So the white light means that it is charging. The green light means that it is good, your baby's good to go, readings are good, and they can sense um, the readings. Yellow means that your baby might have kicked the sock off or maybe is wiggling a little bit. A blue light means that there is a lost connection. And then red means that something is wrong with your baby and you need to go check on them. Using the app is a lifesaver. I will check it, not necessarily frequently, but I do like to check it like once at night. And then when she was a new, new baby, I would check it in the middle of the night just to kind of see what was going on. I don't necessarily check it as much anymore, but I will check it right before I go to bed. If I ever need to turn off the dock because it's making its little sound, its little tune, and I'm annoyed by it and I can't go get it because I'm um, with the baby, then I can go to my phone and I can turn off the dock from there. And then I can always turn it back on too from my phone, which is very nice. I would say the main reasons that I use it is because it will allow me to look at their heart rate and their oxygen levels. Um, you can also kind of see like if your baby is wiggling, but obviously you could use a monitor if you really wanted to like visualize them. It is not medically necessary, so do keep that in mind. It's really just for like peace of mind as a parent and that's how I used it. Uh, I would never really use the heart rate zones or the oxygen levels as like, this is exactly what it is. Um, you know, I, I use it more of as like a gauge and a way to pay attention if I do have that just anxiety as a, a parent about how my baby's doing while they're sleeping. It in no way prevents SIDS. So 
it's just a way to monitor you know what they're doing yeah. All right, so final review on the outlet sock. Do you need it or not? You don't need it. But if you are the type of parent that wants that peace of mind that, you know, maybe has the budget for it, it might be nice for you. I just remember when I had a Scarlet in the hospital those first nights and I didn't have the outlet in, like in the hospital, I brought it with me, but I couldn't set it up on the Wi-Fi there. It was just being weird and I didn't have time to really spend doing it there. Um, I just remember like trying to sleep and looking over in her little clear bassinet and I was like, is she breathing? Like, is she okay? I don't see her moving. Like, it's just, it's, it's really difficult, especially that first month. Um, so for me, the outlet sock was totally worth it and I'm so glad that I spent money on it. Obviously, you could put it on your registry if you do think you'll need it and um, maybe someone will gift it to you or put money towards it so then it's not as expensive. But that would be the biggest deterrent is just the price, obviously. But um, like I said, you know, for me, it, it gave me peace of mind and I still use it at night. I don't necessarily use it for naps, um, but I know a lot of people that do and totally you you can totally do that it was just more helpful for me at night to use it um and obviously you know almost four months later like we're still using it so yeah i i highly recommend it but like i said it's not necessary um for so many years parents got by without something like that they just checked on their baby they watched the monitor um and they trusted their gut so yeah that is my final review and I hope you found this helpful. Please comment below if you have any questions. I'd love to help you. Um, but this is in no way sponsored either. We just wanted to kind of like tell you what we thought and I want it to be valuable to you because it's expensive and I, I want you to feel good about buying it or not buying it. Um, but share this video with someone that might need it. Like this video and remember to subscribe because there's so many more good videos coming. Right? Yeah. You're worth it. <laughs>